loud and they scream a lot. Yeah, it's called a kid. It's sad to imagine that some parents neglect their kids and even abuse them. Today, we'll be watching these insane cases where cops rescue children from their abusive parents. On the 22nd of April 2021, a couple of Flager County deputies were dispatched to a house after neighbors expressed concerns about children screaming and crying inside. As the cops made their way to the home, they were stunned to witness the scenes inside. The cops confronted the father of the children, Gilbert Bridewell, who told them that there were three children inside, aged one, two, and one being just seven days old. Upon inspecting the house, they were devastated to see the conditions inside. Are they both your children? Finally, after banging on the door for some time, the mother of the kids, Christina Coe, came out and confronted the cop. Her response to their questions further proved that the children were in desperate need of rescue. Hello. Are you looking for yeah, you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, are you the mother of these children here? Yeah, what's up? They just, they've been screaming and crying? Yeah, they're playing. They have the, the windows open, that's what they do. They're not playing, ma'am. Right, well, he looks like he needs juice or something. He's showing me his cup. Yeah, I was just about to go get them. Okay, well, we're getting complaints. They feel like there's uh, children in distress over here. Yeah, they, and they, they, um, they're very loud and they scream a lot. Yeah, it's called a kid. Yeah. They scream a lot and they're very, um... How old are they? Uh, it's almost two and three. They're is, very, very... Is anybody crazy. supervising them? Yeah, I was just in there. I was just in there getting them stopped. Mm -hmm. But I have my other daughter in the So other there's room. like 10,000 choking hazards in there that they're locked in that room and nobody's in there supervising them? As they're screaming for the whole neighborhood to call us? The mother claimed that everything was all right inside, whereas the cops noticed cockroaches roaming around freely and even found feces on the bed. The cops kept on questioning her and she persistently lied. And this apparently has not been the first time from all your neighbors calling in, saying that they hear this multiple times throughout the week. Do you have an ID with you? When was the last time you even changed their diapers? As it's sagging there, probably full. They had a ton of juice, and it was probably an hour and a half ago that I changed their diapers. Does this seem to be a safe environment for your children? Yeah, it's completely safe. It's just, they're very, very loud and vocal. And since both of the windows are open. This is a safe environment, huh? We're still cleaning it out. Their uncle and aunt just left and they trashed the place. So. I'm not enthused so far, to be honest with you. Neither am I. Even the cops were horrified seeing the horrible situation inside. The entire house smelled of feces, and the environment was worse for the kids. You notice the cockroaches on the walls? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can see the... So the screen, the screen there. was in there. Yeah, the screen was in, but you see how they had the holes and so forth. They're putting their right. fingers through, and I mean, I feel like you could easily push that out if you actually tried. Okay. Um, it, it took her several minutes to see well, a, a good amount of time to answer the door. Um, when she answered the door, she was like groggy and tired. Was the baby with her when she answered the door? No. Okay. So she was the infant sleep. was asleep in the bed. Um, she seemed tired, groggy, kind of out of it, like she just awoke it. And they were banging on the door that was locked from the out the other side. Out. With an empty juice cup. Mommy, mommy, mommy. With an empty cream, juice cup. 
Oh, juice cup. I was like, what's a tooth? The cops eventually detained the couple as they decided to hear their side of the story. The mother instantly went into tears, attempting to evade the arrest. Do you want to explain or... <laughs> Sure. Um, so based on our findings tonight, okay, um, we do have probable cause to make the arrest. Um, both of you. Um, it, it's, it's just not fair to what's happening with these kids. All right, so all, both of y'all are going to be going to jail tonight. Um, Child neglect. Okay, DCF has obviously custody of the kids, and they're going to be staying with your sister, cousin. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Um, hopefully, you guys are able to get out tomorrow. You can get back to your baby. Yeah, um, with what? We have no money. We have no. I, I have no family. I understand. I understand, but we we have probable cause to make the arrest. Yeah, we don't we don't tolerate this. All right. Well, Christina should have realized that her children are her family now, and she should be providing a safe and clean environment for them. Fortunately, the cops didn't listen to them much and decided to arrest them. The conditions they're in is unsafe for them in general, completely unsatisfactory. You're going to probably want your wallet and your ID when you go. Uh, all right, go uh, ahead, uh, I know you're upset about your kids, but you hitting your head against that glass is not going to do anything. You have three little ones that care about you that are waiting for you. Yep. So let's just get this over with, okay? We're going to go get you cleared at the hospital. If you don't want to get any treatment or anything, you'll just have to tell them that. I don't want to go okay. to the hospital. Okay. But we have... You just tell them you don't want to see them? Just after being held accountable for her carelessness, Christina's entitlement skyrocketed as she banged her head against the car. The officer made sure to teach her a lesson as they proceeded to take them to the police station. Because you just had I'll a... fill it out now. I don't, don't want to go there at all. I hate Advent. All right. They treat me like shit. Okay, perfectly fine. It's not your decision, it's ours, okay? Our policy states you're going to have to go. If you sign out AMA, that's not a problem. You don't even have to get out of the car. That's not a problem, okay? At the end of the day, this is what is happening. I'm very sorry to be the one to tell you that, but there's no decision here. There's no choice to be made. This is what's happening. Please do not hit your head against my partition. All it's going to do is hurt and damage my car, okay? I don't care if it hurts. Did you have any questions, comments, or concerns at this point in time? No. Great. Close the door. Let's go. The officers took them to the police station, where both of them were charged with three counts of felony child neglect with great bodily harm. On the other hand, the children were handed over to a family member. Well, these parents were horrible, but the actions of the next send shivers down your spine. Leave the baby there, bro. Get the baby, get the baby, get the baby. <laughs> On September 11th, Volusia County deputies rushed to a home after a mother of three kids told the cops that her husband was heavily intoxicated and was threatening to burn down their house and kid. The cops immediately approached the house and discovered him in the driveway. Hey, he's backing out. Stand by. All right, get me here, here. I got a child inside the car. 31-year-old Mark Arlene was trying to back out of the driveway and had an 11-month-old baby and a two-year-old boy inside the car unrestrained. The cops quickly pulled him over and got the situation under control. Get out of the car right now! Get out of the car! Shut the car off! Shut it off! Do it now! Put your hands out the window. Put your hands out the window. Put your hands out the window. You see a weapon? Leave the baby there, bro. Get the baby, get the baby, get the baby. <laughs> 
The officers got the children in custody and were shocked to discover that his four-year-old boy was inside the house and the drunk father had sprayed his face with bleach. Moreover, he had sprayed the bedroom with tiki torch fuel. Hey, baby. How are you? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. <laughs> 30 Central, we got one detained, two kids. Clear the channel. You all right, man? You all right? What's your name? What's your name? Huh? I'm Get him secured. He is. What's your name? I'm Jason. You right, buddy? The officers immediately arrested Mark and took him to the police station where he was charged with aggravated attempt and driving under the influence. He was held in jail without bond. These parents may have been neglectful, but the next case will leave you stunned. You're under arrest for On August 22nd, 2023, officers from the Stillwater Police Department were shocked to hear the story of a distraught parent as he claimed to have seen explicit photos of his three-year-old daughter in his girlfriend's home. Concerned about this, the officers quickly went over to her residence and apprehended her. Okay. You Ashley? What's your last name? Okay. You're nervous. The woman was identified as 19-year-old Ashley Cheatham, who met her boyfriend through an online dating platform. According to the boyfriend, he had found disgusting videos of Ashley abusing. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is there you go. Are they jeans or shorts or shorts? Shorts, 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 the officers tried to get her something to wear before arresting her. Seeing the situation, Ashley started to panic. You got any form of like slip on shoe or anything? Once realizing that the cops were aware of her disgusting crime, Ashley began to cry as she could see her end in front of her. Is your ID in your purse? You that to with it? In possession of chopper on. Oh <laughs> Ashley was then arrested and was transported to the Payne County Jail. She was charged with five felonies, including 
abuse of a child under 12, making or distributing types of obscene material or pornography, possession of marijuana, and violation of the Oklahoma Computer Crimes Act. You might wonder if this is the worst that could happen, but this next parent managed to take things up a notch. Is this what you're talking about, cleaning up the carpet? I mean, there's poop everywhere. In March, the Stillwater Police Department and DHS worked together to investigate a child sex assault case against Stephen Kittle. The officers eventually obtained a search warrant for his trailer and were shocked to see the condition inside. <laughs> There were three children inside the house aged four years, one year, and 18 months, and the entire house was covered in feces. Soon the officers arrested Kittle who lived in the home with his mother and his wife. This is what you're talking about, cleaning up the carpet? I mean, there's everywhere. Can you go ahead? Go ahead and put your hands on the back one. Can I ask what's going on? All right, right so now going? you are under arrest for child sexual assault. Okay, we're not gonna talk about it while we're here. We'll talk about it back at the police department, okay? Bro. That is the worst house I've ever been in, right there. All right, there's the part of the floor was like this in the boot, not the junk one. The condition of the house was so bad that the cops had to take breaks to go out for fresh air. The officers later discovered the 18-month-old child's hands were covered in feces. Trick for a sec. trying to clean up, you go in this room, and it looks like you just put shit all over your hands and like all over. The officers also found out that children were often locked up for hours, and all of them showed signs of food scarcity. They were eventually taken into DHS custody. Stephen Kittle, his mother Robin Kittle, and his wife Lindsay Pratt are now all facing charges. Surprisingly, it's not the last time a parent was found being incredibly careless regarding their child. You can do it right here and do so surprised. Like Amber. Oh. On the 2nd of July, 2022, a Santa Rosa County deputy observed a car driving 73 miles per hour in a 55 miles per hour zone. He quickly pulled the car over and went over to confront the driver. However, the situation was much more serious than a speeding ticket. Sarge is on his way over here. Sarge is on his way over here. We tried. No, you're not going anywhere. Not with her in the car. Then stop. Then stop, Amber. Amber, no, just stop. Turn the car off. Okay, so you drive? Huh? Sarge is on his way over here. We're gonna. The woman driving the car was identified as Amber Rowland, a former prosecutor for the state attorney's office. Amber appeared intoxicated, and the worst part was that she had her eight year old daughter sitting in the front. Come out here and he'll talk to you. No, what was it? Come on. Let me look. Huh? look Come on, me. let's talk. I'm such um, good friends with you. You can drive me home. We're good friends. That's why you treated me the way you did. Uh, but don't do it. That's Come on. Pretty awesome. I can't. Come on, talk cool. to us. I can't get out the car. I'll do this somewhere separately. Amber seemed to know all the cops out there as she pleaded with them to let her go. However, the cops made sure to hold her accountable as they eventually got her out of the car. All right. Quicker. We're trying to find a straight line, Amber. No, I can do a straight line. It doesn't we, matter. We gotta please, have the straight. Please, Justin, please. If he comes by, I lose my kids. Please. Well
Okay. Wow. Refusal. I'm not refusing. I'm not well, you saying. didn't finish the task. I didn't finish it. But there's people that are watching. Feet together, hands down by your side. You remember what I told you to do? Yeah. Okay. Feet together, hands down by your side. Refusal. I'm so okay. Seeing her poor performance on every test, the deputy decided to proceed with the arrest, which was met with even more resistance from her. Turn, don't grab me. Turn around. Oh, wait. Turn around. Wait. Turn around. I'll do it. Turn around. I'll do it. Amber, turn around. Please. Turn around. Don't. Turn around. No, for one. Turn around. Don't do it. Yeah. Amber, yeah, come on. You can take me home. You can do whatever. Amber, stop. I can't. Oh, lose my phone. Please, Justin. We, we tried that earlier. Justin. You want her to see you? Then walk over here. You tied our hands. I've never asked for anything. Please. Please. No. my decision so I I understand that but the thing is is you're asking me not to do my job you know that Amber was eventually taken to the police station where she was charged with refusal to submit to a lawful test of breath and issued a citation for DUI and a verbal warning for speeding. She was issued a bond of $6,500. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see cases where police officers were on time to catch these abusive parents. It was truly bizarre to witness how some of these people their kids and neglected them to such an extent. Fortunately, the cops intervened, taking the kids into protective custody and charging these careless parents with felony. We hope that these ignorant parents learn their lesson in prison and are never reunited with the children they hurt the most. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.